are those first moments and realizations like, and, and what kind of goes through your mind at, at that time? Well, the biggest thing that she's going to face is the fact that pretty much her whole life, you know, being a model and inspiring to continue to, to be in that field. I mean, she's been, she's beautiful. She's been, she's been told she's beautiful. And then all of a sudden, when you open up the mirror and you look at yourself and you're completely different, the first thing that crosses your mind is like, I am not what everyone has necessarily gravitated to me for before. I'm not that same thing anymore. How am I going to be able to continue the things that I wanted to continue? That was her dream. That was her goal. Now she feels it's been completely shattered and there's no way it's been propelled, so to speak, you know, <laughs> kind of in a weird way to say it, but it's, it's something that, she, it, you know, she all of a sudden may get to the point where she says, you know what, I, how can I live like this? How am I going to be able to do the things that I'm going to do? How the dreams that I had, you know, to be able to walk out in the public, you know, and, and not have, you know, before maybe people stared at me because I was a beautiful young girl, you know, and now people are going to stare at me for the completely different reason of, of curiosity, not more of disgust or anything, you know, that nature, but of more curiosity, what happened to the poor girl? And it's going to be something she's going to have to get to a stage where she's going to have to learn to accept the new her. And she, her life was spared for a reason. And I truly believe this, man, that her life was spared for a reason. And now Jay, she's I want to ask you about that, Jay. I want to ask you about the concept of when you first, you know, regain consciousness or, or understand what's happening. How much of your time is spent thinking, oh, my goodness, I'm thankful I'm alive. I could have died in this accident. She could have died in the accident. You could have died versus, oh, my goodness, this is what happened to me versus I'm thankful just to be alive. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be a while. It normally takes a while for you to get to the stage to, to really be able to be optimistic and see and say, I'm, I'm thankful for the fact that at least I'm alive. And because you, you know, I, w I was told I was handsome my whole life. And then I looked in the mirror and I didn't see that same guy that everyone had accustomed to, you know, talking about. And so it's going to take her a while. And it's going to take her to get to the stage of saying, I accept my new self and I accept, you know, whatever challenges this new life is going to throw at me.